Welcome back everybody to episode 7 of Let's Play Soma. We are back in the, well, crew quarters more or less. After last time we uh, managed to get to the Theta Station. We, um, yeah, we found the Dunbed, which is the vehicle that is supposed to take us uh, to the Abyss to find the Ark. But um, we encountered another robot who has the personality of Robin. Um, and amongst Robin's and other people's quarters, we also found the one from good old Catherine. We made some interesting findings here. Um, one of them being that actually the company actively invested in developing the uh, WAU, W-A-U, so the Warden Unit. Uh, I think this was the last of the quarters that we entered last time around. And I guess what we need to do at the moment is we need to find some ciphers or form of security code or whatever. Uh, and I think one of the tasks was that um, we need to restart a modem or router of sorts uh, so that we can actually link up the computer in Catherine's office. We had the flickering again, so we do know that there's a presence around here somewhere. Ring. Let's close this one. Mm, and I need to adjust my volume settings just ever so slightly again, because otherwise I feel it's a little bit too loud. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I think we checked all of the... Yeah, I think we checked all of the quarters and apartments that we could open up. So it is time... go back. Hmm. Or maybe not necessarily go back, but just um, see where did we miss something. Well, we went there already. Do you think we also went here? Yeah, that was the toilet where we saw our picture for the first time. I think. Or not? Yeah, yeah, that was it. Um, which I guess was the last place now to actually realize, yep, we are indeed a robot. Is there anything else here? No, just some... Nothing for us to read, at least. Oh, it was here. Could also be this one. Anyhow, um... It's a shame we don't have a journal. Because I think it said something... I think this is where Catherine's laboratory was. Sorry that I need to go back. It's been a couple of days since I recorded the last episode. Uh, unfortunately, work has been quite busy again, so I didn't have any more time to play. Yeah. Yeah, this is where the scans took place. Over there is Catherine's um, laboratory. And I think here it tells us what we need to do. Yeah, troubleshoot. Yeah, reset the router in the sub-level vault, sub-level vault, or contact maintenance. Okay, um, I genuinely feel like we've, oh wow, I genuinely feel like we um, explored all the places that we could. So I may just have to go back, see if I missed something on the way here. Which, you know, I wouldn't be very surprised if I did. It's a huge complex, to be honest with you. This is where we entered. I was also wondering for this code that we could get if we should just go back outside to speak to Robin once more. Uh, let's see if we can do this, but I think we don't have the Omni tool with us now. Yeah. We kind of plucked this in this one station and left it there. Which is a bit unusual because we normally don't do that. Oh, oh, that's just the light flickering. Anyhow, so we can't go outside to see Robin. Um, is there anything else? Oh wait, hang on a second. Did I check that door there on the right? I may not have checked this one yet. Oh, I think we haven't been here. 
Let's crouch. There's an, again a video camera. If memory serves me right, one of the things that we learned was that the warden unit basically has access to everything. So if this camera is still on, it 100% knows that we're here now. Oh, sub-level unit, so I... Th Lovely sounds. Um, I guess this is sub-level. So I'm assuming we're on the right track. That doesn't sound very savory. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, we can go up here again. Oof. For a second I thought that's it. Okay, so we have three doors to choose from. Maybe even four. Oh, and it's saving again. No, this one's off. That one is on. So it's three. Alright. Let's, uh collect ourselves and let's just store it. Store it. Which one was that coming from? There's water running over there. Can I see anything? No. Well, let's just try it. Screen tearing. Not great. Can't see anything just yet. Oh shit. Oh shit. He's still alive? Dude. Oh, do that. We can't talk to her. I think it's a her. Oh. There was a hand symbol there just for a second. Oh. I don't know. Just need to check if there's anything else down here. Assuming there is. Oh, there. I see you. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Uh, not ideal. What can you do right? Can't do anything here. Okay. I think it's pretty clear that this is definitely the room we need to be in. But let me just close it and have a quick look at the other two then. Oh boy, the next one. speak to him or her either. Hmm. Oh shit, it followed us. Oh no, 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 no. Can I just... Yeah, yeah carry on. I want to run past you and then I'm going to lock you in. So can they open doors now? Or at least this particular one? Ok, 
Okay. That looks different again to all the others we had so far. Because we did have the, um, we did have naked guy. Uh, we had the this huge mechanical one, which was the very first one. This looks like a big blob. Yeah, I just went to the left there. Okay. Because I need to be super, super careful. Should I have closed the door just behind me? Is it coming in here again? Come on, dude. You don't know where I am. Just carry on. I can see you. Hmm. Makes some interesting noises. Come on. F off. It's coming here again. I don't know if it's one of those that can also be super fast again, right? Oh! I think he may have seen us now. I'm holding my breath. Yes, I can't even do anything in here. Hmm, it's a bit of a shame. What's still standing there? Oh boy. It's not great. It's coming in again. Uh -huh. other than trying and quickly closing the door. Maybe that helps. <laughs> oh shit. Can open doors. Oh, what a sh... What a bad situation. I feel like I've maneuvered myself again in a situation that I can't really get out of now. Because if he keeps coming back, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do. come through there and then I could try and just outrun it.
Mm. So, what do we do? And he's coming back again. Hmm, shall we just try it? I think I'll just try it. So I'll see if I can lure it here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, look, I'm looking at you, come here to the back, yeah, yeah, creepy monster, looks just like a wobbly mass, really weird, two legs to stand on, I wonder if it works on sound. Shout out to Last Burning again. He mentioned that one of the other monsters that I did ultimately die to I could have avoided death by not looking at it. I don't know if this one is this one is essentially the same or not, but we need to we need to try. And we need to make a run for it now. can come up here. Can you come up here? You wobbly blobby moss. Oh, it does look like it. Okay. comes in here, we are toast. Well, at least we know that there's nothing in here. We're just gonna stare at the wall. He's coming in. Let's see if this works. We're not moving, we're looking at the wall. Don't tell me this is working. Last burning, you are a genius. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, we need to wait until it goes into the middle room again. I think it's straight ahead. I think straight ahead is where we need to go and figure things out. Okay, let's not look at it. Okay, it's over there again. Please needed to go into the other side of the room. Yeah, that one in the middle, thank you very much. No, no, I'm not coming over here. Oh, 
obviously what could also be an option is that there's a second one in here. Which I generally do not know. It's a bit like a little labyrinth in here, not gonna lie. And one more. go. Please reset router. Well, how do I do that? Mainframe. Please reset router. Well, coming close, isn't it? We can see the flickering again. Can't see it yet. So, the biggest problem though is... I mean, even if I was able to see it right now... There it is. Oh shit, it is right there. Where's that bloody main router that we need to reset? There it is, okay. Oh, there we go. Hello, friend. Hmm. I was really hoping that we would just need to do something here. Can't click anything here, it just says mainframe. Oh wait. Pull the switch, it'll come towards this. Yeah. Then as soon as it leaves, we kinda need to go in this direction and press something. Okay, clever little game. Sure. 
It just said router active now, so I don't know if I need to do anything else, by the way. It doesn't seem to be happy about it. Mainframe online, that's fine. Oh, there it is. Don't know how fast it is. I also don't know if I'm going in the right direction or if I'm going straight into like a, a dead end. No, I'm not. But then, um, if it isn't all that fast, we should be in a good position right now to basically bugger off and go upstairs again. Right? So, why don't we just do that? Because the router is now online. second I wasn't sure whether there's one now coming from upstairs. Good job, Simon. It's oh. better have worked. I'm not going down there again. No. Not that it does anything, right? Because we know already that it doesn't do anything. Okay. Let's go back to uh, Catherine's crib. Okay. Is that here? I think that was here, right? Yeah. We should really look for a scan. Check the storage. We should look for a scan. Let's first look if this works now. Start one chip. Scan projector active. Insert chip containing scan data. Well, well, wasn't there? Wasn't everything already fried? There's one of them that is still usable. Or do I just take any of them? Oh no, wait, hang on a second. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. This one here? Okay. Hello. There should be a list of people. Oh, wow. See if there's anyone who could know a security cipher. Compressed Nakajima Neurograph. Captured July 7th, 2103. Catherine Chun. Sarah Lindwall. Nationality Greenlander. Said she'd help out delivering the Ark. What is that? What? I'm just gonna press upload. I have no idea what this does, by the way. No, it won't work. We need someone from Theta Security Group. Oh, I see. So she's gonna let us know. Well, Mark wasn't Mark Security. Compressed Nakajima Neurograph. Killed himself because of continuity. Stroma is really mad. It's Titan Security. Brandon One. 
white chick. We definitely had her name before, but I think she was Engineer Strusky. Let's try Mark. Either. Look for security people at Kronstadt or Strohmeyer. Okay. Well, they're not here, are they? Kronstadt or Strohmeyer. Let's try Peter Strasky. No, I don't think so. Strohmeyer recruited people from the evacuated sites. They should also know the cipher, if you can find one of them. I mean... Heather. Let's just try Heather. Oh, if not, we'll just try all of them. It's fine. Okay, try actually reading the info and then pick one. <laughs> Shep, we got the wave leak from the helmet. If anything, it should make the post scan hang over less there. Maggie, we look so much alike. No, 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 best friend. Well... Robin. Another continuity suicide. Stromer General. Stromer locked me out of my lap again. Brandon Wan. Delta Refugee. Unstruck Wrangler. He's working for Stromer now, okay. So. Very promising. Okay. I'll just load him up and get the simulator going. Cool. There we are. Oh. What are we doing exactly? We're going to have a talk with Mr. Wan. Use the computer to activate the simulation. Okay, environment, none. Beach, ski lodge, module, none. Okay, let's try the beach. And... That wasn't so bad. Stroma really got me worked up, bastard. What? How did I get here? Don't be afraid, Mr. Wan. Dr. Chun, is that you? What happened? What is this place? Everything's fine. Theta needs your help. We need the new security cipher. Dr. Chun? I hear your voice, but there's no one here. There's no one here! It's empty. It's too empty. There's something really wrong with this place. It's not real! This isn't real! I have to get out of here! Wait. Okay, let's support. Simon, you just reset the simulation. Okay, yeah, I know. Let's try none. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? What is this? Where am I? Take a deep breath, Mr. Wan. Everything is fine. Dr. Chun? What the hell is this place? I don't have time to explain. I need you to give me the new security cipher. Why are you doing this? Is this some trick? I'm not giving you anything. I'm trying to save a lot of people. No, you're lying. This is all a lie. Look at this place. It's a fucking joke. Get me out of here, Chun, or I'll punch your teeth in! Oh, Did we just bring that guy to life? I mean, he's a perfect scan, meant for the Ark. He's the real deal. And we turned him off. Took it all away again. I really thought that was going to work. Maybe we can try again. <laughs> That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Mr. Wan. Chun? What happened? I, I can't see anything. There's nothing here. There's no need to worry. No, no, that, that's a lie. You're lying. Don't get upset, Mr. Wan. No, 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 no. Why, why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, Chun. I trusted you! Do we need to turn it off? Can we just keep him alive until we've got the cipher? The longer he's exposed to the computer model, the more he'll get hung up on it. So, what's wrong with letting him settle in a little? It would drive him insane. So let's keep the session short and the suffering to a minimum. Okay, let's try the beach one, one more time. I'm not sure if I'm missing something here. That wasn't so bad. So it always starts the same way. Welcome back, Mr. Wan. Dr. Chun, is that you? What happened? What is this place? Listen, 
I really need your help. I need the new security cipher. Dr. Chun? I hear your voice, but there's no one here. There's no one here! It's empty. It's too empty. There's something really wrong with this place. It's not real! This isn't real! I have to get out of here! Oh, so it would have... I think we need to build the scene so it's more what he'd expect. As soon as he starts to doubt, we've lost him. You're right. We need to think this through. We need some more data. So... So what does that mean? This one here says environmental simulation. So now if I press tab, I have those two things. Okay. But how, how do I get more data? Into the chip. Okay, so this one has the environment data, right? Oh, it just gives us him again. None. Should we try? I mean, I can try it one more time, but I don't think it's going to change because she said already we need more data. I don't know how. I'm, how would I get this? Ah, uh, this is the problem when you leave too long of a break in between play sessions. Is there anything else? Did another. I feel like we've we've searched Or should I just go to his apartment again? Um his apartment. <laughs> My apartment may be a bit of a stretch. So now we need we have his name, right? One. Maybe if I go to um Maybe if I go to his cabin, that's probably the better word. Or oh, is there anything else I can do here? Oh, scan lock. Uh, scan lock. Catherine, Nikolai, Jasper, Heather, Mark. Option holder Stromata investigates the death of Sarang. Yeah, he was the one who killed himself. Emma, Imogen. Louise also killed herself. Jessica, Strasky, Rao, Kumarabi, Hart, Four Queen, Finlay, Rogers, Josie, Goya, Rhea, One, Brendan, One, that's the guy, and then Robin Brass. Stromae reprimanded me. One more death and we're out. Constead, Fisher, John Stotzier, Frost, and then Guy Conrad. Our project on hold indefinitely. Oh, so there were still those were still missing. So Joaquin Dufresne, Strohmeyer himself, Richard Thabo, Jane Adams, Ashish Shankar, Marishika Davio, and Sean Evans. Okay. Simulation assets. Yeah, there isn't anything else in there that we can use, so... Okay, let's head over to Juan's... Um, to Juan's cabin in a second. I just want to see if this is here. Is there anything else here? Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help. Oh no, that was the one where... Catherine tells him that somebody had just killed themselves immediately after the skin. Oh, hello. External device. Test environments. Greeble exterior test. Greeble interior test discarded. Chip 44. Greeble interior test. Data reconstructed by WOW. Do not use. 
agreeable exterior test applied to arc. So beach we have. Scan room with pilot seat. Better continuation. Not necessary for arc. Float tank. Watery filled steel tank. Sensory limiter. Sensory limiter. Could that work? Better continuation. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Should we try the float tank first? What do we do? Network transfer? Copy to chip. Transfer file. Copy to chip. Corrupt data. Oh, it doesn't work. Guy Conrad. Guy Conrad. North Englander. Equal American. So float we can't, so maybe scan room. Copying data. Okay, so we could copy this. Let's try this thing. Oh yeah, those were the files where we found the, um, essentially where we found the information of what happened to us. So, let's see. Okay, scan room. Let's try. security cipher. What? Why? Why would you need that? This is the trick. Please, this is important. I knew you couldn't be trusted. None of this is real. And you won't break me, Wow. You hear me? You won't break me! How many hmm. times are we gonna have to do this? Come on, Simon. Don't give up now. Okay, so this still wasn't it. I guess that leaves one thing. Let's try the one that we're not supposed to take. Because it says, do not use. Oh, well we can't. Well, isn't that just great? And this one we can't use either. Because it says, crop data. anything with those two. Okay, there's nothing else that we can do here. Just a tad little bit lost. I was hoping we could maybe swap out the person that we are using for this. Maybe it doesn't need to be this Vista one. Maybe it could be somebody else, but clearly you not. Know. See. Conrad. Here we go, Brandon Wan's room. I'll just override the lock for you. Oh, what? Oh. Uh, if we get to know him, maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. Okay. Hello. Looks like a castle. Certainly not Versailles. What's this? The Rockies? Something similar? True. Nothing in his garbage. We'll check the data buffer in a second. Fairchild Award for Achievements of the Engineering Youth. 
not stereotyping at all. That almost looks a little bit like Venice. Could be Japan. No text though. What's this? Oh, it's close drawing. I think it's there. Okay. Anything under the pillows? No. Okay. Uh, in the drawer, maybe? What's this? Stuff. Brandon Wan, 177, 84 kilogram, Chinese, place of birth, Hong Kong, service record, duty, 2102, Russian Wrangler, site Delta, security clearance, YYC. Okay. His wife, I would assume. Cute. Sorry, can you just move a little bit? Scooch. And I guess his parents, right? Okay. Uh, we'll have a look here in a sec. Oh, nice. Uh, paper frog. So a bit of origami. What's this? Brandon. I'm really a mess about the scan. Everyone is being so brave. All smiles, no regrets. You know how you said you would hold my hand during the scan? If the officer stands, I gratefully accept. If we do it together, we could suffer the hangover together as well. They say it takes a couple of days to recover. Kisses Alice. Oh, he was asking for Alice. A letter from someone named Alice. They were together during the scan. You know her? He was close with Coster. I would not have expected that. Can we use that somehow? Mm, keep looking. Okay, um, yeah. Let's do the data buffer real quick and listen to it. Brandon, you ready to go? Strohmeyer says it's time to move. I'm waiting for Stransky and Alvaro to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs and I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. I think I just heard Alice talking to Brandon on the intercom. Seems like they were getting ready to leave. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. Great, this is exactly what we need. I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. We can trick him into feeling safe enough to open up. Great. Definitely feeling good about this. Good job with the intercom. I didn't know you could data mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So it comes naturally to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile. <laughs> I love the fact that he still has a sense of humor. And the same thing actually about Catherine. She has her apparently quite natural curiosity because she asks a ton of questions all the time. Let's have a look here. In chronological order, August 14th. Acres finally agreed to evacuate Delta. Goya, Kree and I moved into theater today. Akers said he'd stick around for a while longer, that crazy bastard. I take pride in my work, but goddamn, that place is miserable since the surface stopped sending parts. Oh, so one was part of Akers' original team. I found more evidence suggesting they were together during the scan. That's okay, Sherlock, we got it already. We should focus on simulating Brandon Wan. Did my arc scan together with Alice? Stromer told me that the hangover would basically kill me. Such an asshole. I was fine at first, but got a splitting headache a couple of hours later. The biggest pain was that Chun girl. She's so fucking uncomfortable at all times it makes my skin crawl. Oh, he's talking about Catherine. So he doesn't like her at all. Stromeyer went ballistic and shut down all future scans for the ARC project. Apparently Conrad wanted in on the continuity and just fried himself right in the pilot seat after the scan. Something tells me we'll be getting new security ciphers. Yeah, I got that right. Just heard that the Komorebi survey team is going to Delta and pick up Acres. He's been alone for months now. Can't imagine what he's been up to. Yeah... You and me both, bud. You and me both. I'm sure we'll run into this guy at some point. Anyhow, I think we have what we need. Just 
just a quick sense check. In case there's any weird and wicked surprises, right? Okay, let's see. I compiled the analysis module that we can use. So she'll be with Brandon in the simulation? Sort of. I'll still need to do the talking, but it'll sound and look like Alice. Okay. Well. I think we'll go with the scan room again. I think this one so far was the best one. Simulations? Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still you. I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. Oh, wow. Uh, so I've written down those numbers. So he said 1729 over 42 and 12 over 407. I wonder if we could just leave it and just not do anything. Could erase the data or shut it down? Oh man. Let's just shut it down. Guess that's it. Do I need to take any of this? Anyhow, I think we need to go back now. Simon, we got it. We can get to the Dunbat now. Get back here. It's saving. Something's gonna happen. I know it. You know it. Just have extracted the cipher from Brandon's data somehow. It's so cruel bringing him back like we did. No, there you are. Just warming up the Dunbat for us. Oh, that's been annoying. collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. Okay, that's it. That's everything. Let's go ahead and. Huh. That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough. Oh, that's a bit annoying that it just cut out the text right in the middle there, when they were just in the conversation. Ah, oh well. Should I just have a look again inside status? All systems operational. Subcode intact, armor, life support. 13 degrees, actually not too bad. Map. Okay. Main level. Black box beacon. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I wanted to check stuff. Missing. Catherine shown while she's with us. Deceased, deceased. Yeah, and we obviously saw quite a few bodies mangled into some of that um, 
some of those engine pieces down in the down in the sub level. Payload manager, medical doctor. Guests. Jane Adams, Chief Factor Upsilon, Rishka Wrangler, Javid Goya, and when Brandon. Okay. Alright, so what do we need to do now? Just um, head outside and go through the door. there, I guess. I suppose. So we probably don't need to talk to Robin outside anymore, right? Oh, that's the Dunbat thingy. out for moving doors. Um. So fiddly. Okay, we got it. Okay. Cool. Uh, do we just click buttons? systems okay preparing release Much then for our done bed, right? Hmm. 
Mm. That is unfortunate. Okay. Don't think I can get across, so we probably just can go. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was a nice bit of lag. I'll go look here. failed at acquiring the dumb bat. Well, thank you, Steam Achievements. security area. Okay. That looks very different. Yeah. Where the hell are we? Here we go. Oh, look. There's one of the finger things again. I'm not gonna use it right away, I just wanna have a quick look around. Because I think we now learned that this is connected to the WoW. We don't just wanna alert it to the fact that we are here now. What's this? Documents. My decision. I have decided to finalize the arc with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months since I've added a scan. I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed when we started the project. I'm sorry. I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just wanted to save something. What's left? Apply interface module. Seal arc capsule. Ask permission from 4Q. Brief, Ivashkin, Lindwall, Patterson and Hill. Take shuttle to Omicron. Pick up power suits. Ride the climber into the abyss. Regroup at Tau. Head to launch site. Load the bullet. And launch the arc. Arc locator? Okay. So this is the same thing that we saw already. So it is still at Tau. Which means we need to go via Omicron. Arc Attitude Survey. Arc Attitude Survey. To gauge staff opinion, please fill out this short survey. Recently, it was decided that the Arc project would become Pathos 2's last official commitment. The staff has, be the staff has been urged to carry on with their duties despite Earth's catastrophic condition. I think the Arc project is the most logical step towards saving mankind, and that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. Okay, strongly agree, disagree, strongly disagree. Um, again, Last Burning made an interesting comment there, and I think this is really, this is part what I really like about this game. You can now think about whether, would you answer this as you as the player, or try to answer it from the perspective of Simon, so the main character what you think would be his opinion there. Um, I, I gotta be honest, I just cannot imagine... I, I don't think it's something that that is really possible to fully comprehend. Yes, absolutely. Logic would dictate, you know, if there's a way to do anything, let's carry on with that. And I guess that's in part how we as humans work, right? We need purpose because it will always drive us forward. 
but it could also be you could also argue and say well if it is just if it is just bits and bytes that continue to exist what's the point could we use those resources that still exist to maybe make the last whatever months years that are there as enjoyable as possible not saying that's my opinion but i'm just saying that's probably one of god god knows how many different views that you could develop here um but i'm gonna try and attempt and answer this now from the perspective of simon and you can tell that he obviously is conflicted by some of the things that we do because he very much thinks like a human and whilst he's obviously realized that he is technically speaking just a simulation right now or he called it that earlier but he does still have you know free or an element of free thinking and uh, thinking and feeling so i do think seeing this and also our desire actually to push towards the arc i think he would probably go with yeah strongly agree because if there's a way of you know pursuing a form of life even if it means you know it's not in a let's say biological body anymore then uh, let's do that to embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnetism using pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, sometimes lasting up to three days. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to save mankind. Hmm. Since we are past the COVID years now, I guess, um, yeah, we've all had this with nausea and headaches. <laughs> Anyhow, again, I do think he would say, okay, a couple of days, uh, you know, mild levels of personal discomfort are definitely something worthwhile having. The Ark is built to fit a Ranger MK7 probe, meaning to be shot into space with the Omega space gun and technically survive for thousands of years living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the Ark should leave Earth behind and be launched into space. Well, I mean... Yeah. This is odd, because that almost implies, like, what is there another option? Would there be an option where the Ark could just stay on Earth? But then obviously you don't have the resource in terms of the sunlight, right, to keep it running. Anyway, I'm gonna go just with an agree, just to have some, a little bit of diversity in here. Digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will out of necessity be generated from existing genetic code, but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes, ease aging, and even prevent death. I think we are at risk of losing our humanity if we were to rid ourselves of disease and our mortality. Yeah, that's an interesting one, right? I do think especially... Yeah... I do think that mortality plays a big role in being human. Understanding that we have a finite amount of time and we don't even know how much of that really. Mm. I'm gonna go with agree. There are only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. A way to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intelligences that would, in every way, appear to be human, but with childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. I think even an inferior group of artificial people would benefit our society. Hmm. Round question. It's obviously something very present, right, in the era now of uh, Jet GPT and so on. How would our character feel about this? I don't think he would have anything against it, so let's go with agree again. Thank you for your participation. Oh, thank you for the participating. This is how your colleagues voted. Arc approval? Oh, that's, like, vastly and strongly disagree. Eternity among the stars, the same thing. Inferior companions. Oh. The biggest portion was actually on strongly disagree. Pain for gain? I guess if you take this together with only 4% disagreeing, yeah, we can, only, we can all say that 
a bit of my discomfort. So I think that just goes to show we're willing to make certain sacrifices if we can see clear benefit in the long run. Then artificial evolution. Yeah. Somewhat fair. I mean, the majority still sits on the strongly agree and agree. I wonder... I don't know if that's the case. Well, it would be cool if this data is pulled together by how players are responding to the survey. That would be awesome. Anyhow, let's go back. Uh, that was the attitude survey, and I think that's all there is, right? Yes. Um, can we see anything through here? No, but it's also offline. Okay. Something through there. Anything else on this side? No, this is completely out. Completely out of order. And then this radiation hazards. Multipurpose volume NMRI. Yeah, it's a red, so we can't use it. Okay. And then there's this big lab table. Oh, what's this? Oh, interesting. Okay. Hmm. Let me grab this again and plug it in somewhere. Are there any sockets where it could go in? But yeah. Looks pretty big, actually. Okay. There's nothing else. Just some tools. Okay, let's plug in the Omni tool. Let's see if Catherine has anything to tell us again. Huh? Wait, this isn't... Oh, no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did, am I right? Well, I was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. <laughs> okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the Abyss. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? I mean, you're the scientist. You tell me. We're just a guy from a comic book store. Oh, there's some stuff on here. So, oh, what's this? RX, BX, XX, LM, TY, AA. Trap arc with signal transmitter. Okay. Power packs, tools, FST kit, extra oxygen, pathos to permission. Let's have a look. What's this? Lambda to the left. Delta to we came. Oh, yeah, so that's where we came from. Theta is where we are. Shuttle to Omicron. Omicron. Change to HPS. Ride the climber into the abyss. So this is exactly what Catherine... Of course. So that's what the real Catherine did. Her scan is kind of a little bit back, right? Uh, check on Tau. Anyone alive? And then access tunnel to Phi and launch Ark. That's Phi, all right. Quick stop at Omicron, then Tau, then Phi. Let's do it. Wow, that's so cool. It's the whole gang. A crew photo? Really? Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. I thought being an asshole wasn't invented until the 22nd century. Now I know better. <laughs> Yeah. Can't really read the name though. Uh, and 
except for Ian Patterson, of course, and I guess uh, Catherine Chun is obviously on the far right. Okay, so only five people then. If those were the last ones, Haimatsu Power Suit, proper usage for the safety of you and your colleagues. Put on the Oprene undersuit and body harness. Check the HBS for any visual damages. Starting with legs, fix the parts onto your harness and work yourself upwards. Lock all the pieces together as you go. Let a partner help you with the back piece and the torso. Tap the secure button on your arm piece. You should hear the suit seal itself. Okay, so we don't have a partner, so that's already going to be good. Uh, the suit will then start to equalize pressure and tap into the oxygen tank. If the suit doesn't seal itself, flex the shock absorbers and try again. If it still won't work, do not try to fix it yourself. Contact maintenance. No, the HPSs are very heavy and the suit will compensate. You will effectively be stronger than you think you are. Be careful. Regular training applies. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay out too long. Don't dive too deep. Don't dive with malfunctioning equipment. High pressure diving suits need to undergo mandatory maintenance. Check up before suiting up. Not doing so puts you into risk of oxygen poisoning, pulmonary edema, and death. Well. Okay. What could possibly go wrong, right? Okay, so she started everything up here now. Can now be used, okay. What's this thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity and in payload frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the Ark. Well, I'll give it a try. Okay. <laughs> object inside square bit of a tight fit can you reach the on switch uh yep oh, should cool. i be worried about radiation i think we're beyond that interesting you seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing everything's meshed together how's mm -hmm. that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at omicron um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind in a sound body. Okay. At least we know how to get on the arm. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. So how do we do that then? Okay. So much stuff, so much information in just such a short amount of time. No device connected. What's this? Is there anything? Oh, is that the bit from the picture? It certainly looks like it. No device connected. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Arc build number. Detecting storage. 1231 terabyte. A 
approximately 43.75% memory corrupted. Simulation reconfiguration necessary. 96 terabyte. Oh. Memory corruption detected. Please reduce memory footprint. Physics. Soft fluid. Boy. Atmo. Scan. Heat. Dim light. Edge basic. Scenes. Okay, let's remove clouds. What are the big ones here? Fluid, okay. Now on this side, it's river. Okay, so we need to get this down. Uh, lake. PKG Soma Humrek type water road and hum whatever hum is sim base rec type hum I think we're almost there about a hundred left uh, foliage sun noon Can't do next though. Dirt road. Bench. Why? Hmm. Not quite sure. Do we need to take anything um, from here off? Require. Is this one highlighted in red though? Okay. I don't know what Buero is. What river requires this one? Sim base required type soma. Sim base requisite type soma. Oh, which one is that though? I don't quite understand. Light SRC. Now we're over it again. Okay, forest requires this one. Simbits requires type Soma. PKG Soma? Boat, river, cabin, mod lake, foliage. Foliage needs light. here so the scenes I can't click sim base requires type so well. this one needs type water lake oh and then we're too high again that we need for forest sim forest needs this one this. 
Light SRC. PKG Soma Hum. This one requires type light. Okay. Dirt road, bench, boat, river, chair, cabin, foliage, sun. This one requires something with heat. Okay. Interface. Scan. Oh, we're just one short now, yeah? we need. Don't need this one. No. Heat light. It's with this one. Oh, lake needs boy. What if instead of lake we take river? Oh, river needs both fluid and boy. Okay. And river is larger than lake. But it does need this one. Still too much. What I do, because I'm just realizing we're actually very, very close to the full hour again, I, I'll i figure this one out and I'll zoom back in when we're here, and I was intending to actually take a break at this moment in time anyway. So the Dunbed dumb was a bust. Um, I guess we now have our next option right in front of us, which means we need to make our way to Omicron, find one of those um, HP, whatever it was, HPSs, so those deep diving suits, and just take it from there. So, yeah. One step back, <laughs> one step forward. Um, but yeah, we will continue our journey. And we figured out what we're made of, which feels really weird. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Um, thank you so much for joining me again on episode 7. I do hope, of course, to see you again on the next one. Until then, really look after yourself, take good care, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.